um, today what we're going to be making is a um, newborn headband rack. Um, I've seen a couple of photographers do these and ever since I saw it, I absolutely loved it and I knew I wanted it in my studio. So um, I went ahead already and stained um, a little board. Uh, you can make it as big as you want to, as small as you want to. The space that I'm putting mine is going to be behind my door. So it's actually a little small. So um, if you have more space, go for it. Because if you're like me, you're going to have all of the headbands in the entire world. So um, you're going to want your board stained whatever color that you want. And you want it to be able to be dried by the time you... Um, put all this stuff on there. So I kind of just let it be for a couple of days um, and then some uh, glue and then some uh, cute little uh, uh, clothespins. So these clothespins are already dyed but um, here is my unstained clothespin and then my stained clothespin here. So how I got this look with my clothespin, um, I actually put it in tea. So I just had some tea bags lying around at the house and I actually, um, I'll kind of show you what I did to get this color here in a little bit. Um, I actually just put them in <laughs> a uh, pitcher of hot water um, with my tea bags and I let them sit until I got the color uh, that I wanted. Um, I think I let mine sit for, I think like three days, um, but again, it's really whatever you want in color. I really liked how this turned out. Um, when I was kind of just putzing around staining my board, I actually stained my clothespins the same color, and I kind of really absolutely hated it. So um, I wanted to find a different color, and a lot of the stains that I found in the store were just really too dark um so i looked up online about different ways to get kind of some natural tones and um somebody suggested some tea so that's what i did um i even took like a spoon and rested it on top because they are wood so they'll want to float a little bit so um i've got my stained wood here i'm gonna cut now and kind of show you my process that i did with my tea and then i'll bring you back when i'm all done so I have let my uh, tea and clothespin mixture um, rest for a couple of days now. So like I said, it really kind of depends on um, how dark you want them. Um, I'm kind of going for a little bit more than a medium. So I let mine soak, I let mine soak for three full days. Um, but again, it's really going to depend on, you know, how dark you guys are kind of wanting it. Um, I'm going to drain these and I will bring you guys right back. Okay, guys. So I'm back. I stained my little clothespins in my tea. Um, and it was fantastic. Loved the way that it turned out. Um, they had a great color. So I'm actually going to start the process of taking my glue and gluing my little, um, uh, clothespins onto my board. Now, um, one thing that you'll want to do is um, kind of make sure that you have enough clothespins to go all the way across. I mean, if you don't have enough, it's no big deal. You can always just uh, go dye some more. But um, yeah, you just kind of line them up like this, put a little dab of glue along the edge, and then that allows it so you can still kind of clip your little headbands there. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start to put some glue along the seam here. So just a little dab will do, a glue will do ya. Okay, so just like this. I'm going to go right on the end and just let it hang out for just a little bit. So I'm going to do it again. The space that you leave between, um, it's really up to you, but I am a prop addict, so for me, I'm going to try to get these suckers in there as close to each other as I can because 
I know that I'm going to use that. <laughs> um, my studio is coming along. I'm not ready yet to show you guys the end product. Um, but for right now, the biggest issue for me is um, just trying to find the way to utilize as much space as possible. Um, and right now, headbands and stuff like that, um, I had a lot more than I really thought that I did. Um, I purchased some, I make some, um, and it is kind of a hobby that I really enjoy doing is making them. Um, it's just a good way to kind of relax a little bit. So time is gonna, or not time, I'm so sorry, but um, space, space is just a commodity that I don't have. So I'm gonna be um, not quite as generous with my spacing. Uh, as I can. I'm going to shove those suckers in there as much as I can. Okay, so I'm going to glue the rest of these and then I'll bring you back when I'm done. glued on here um honestly it didn't take that long for the glue to kind of set um and I really kind of love it a lot I'm so excited um yeah and they're on there really really good um so how I'm gonna hang it is I'm gonna put two um just little hooks here in the back and then hang it up on the wall um but it's kind of however that you want to um put it on the wall um, you can do command strips and stuff like that, like if you're renting in a space and you're nervous about putting um, holes in the wall. Um, but uh, it's however you want to hang it up. If you do use the command strips, um, you just want to make sure that you use one um, that is really uh, designed for heavy poundage since it is kind of made out of wood. But I'm going to do the little um, hooks just here in the back and use nails. So yeah, uh, it looks really, really great. And there's quite a few on here. Um, I didn't think that I'd be able to get uh, get that many. He just does not look very happy right now. I don't even know if he's in the full frame. Um, but he's not thrilled at what we're doing today. Um, but yeah, I can fit quite a few on here. Um, once I hang it up and put all of my uh, hats and stuff on there, I'll kind of take a little shot and show you how beautiful it is because I could not be happier. Um, I'm even really, really glad that I didn't do the same um, color stain that I did the stain and the um, tea because it just really makes it pop um, between the two colors. And I love how like um, even in these clothes pins, like the wood has detail. And it just really helps some of that uh, that detail kind of stand out. So I'm going to go hang it up once it's hung up. And I've got all of my beautiful little headbands on there, which I'm so excited to put on there and have them in place. Um, I'll take a video and kind of show it. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'll see you in a little bit. And hopefully you can get happier. <laughs> Okay, I've got it up here on the wall, um, and I'm really, really happy with it. Uh, like I said, it is up right behind my door, and i uh, got my ladder here with all of my wraps. Um, I'll kind of show it to you just because I can't help. I absolutely love it. It's also next to my antique cameras that I have. Um, thank you to my mother-in-law who has uh, spoiled me. Um, she knows that they are a soft place in my heart, and she is like the master of antiques, and whenever she goes out, um, if she finds one, she uh, definitely spoils me. So, if you ever see this, thank you. I can't tell you how much I adore them. But, back to the main show. So, kind of zooming in here. I just love how it is all turned out. 
there's a place for everybody and some of the ones that are um, kind of smaller I do have them doubled up so um, even if you are kind of putting them up there you're like man I just don't have enough space you can still kind of put a couple um, on each little peg so Thank you for watching. Um, I'm really tempted to turn the camera around and show you my studio, but I won't do it. I won't do it, even though I really, really want to. So, um, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Um, this helps me feel like one of the finishing touches on my studio, and hopefully soon I'll kind of get to show you. Um, I'll get to show you behind me, which is really, really exciting. So, bye, guys.